As we squeeze our way through, the waters bring a welcome calm. And then it's the sheer scale of Makoko that hits me. First established in the 19th century by fishermen from the nearby Republic of Benin, Makoko is still considered an illegal settlement by the government and a place where the average wage is less than $2 a day. It, it, it's it's you know, just extraordinary, really. I mean, the, the buildings are nearly all, I mean, they're all makeshift put together with bits of driftwood, uh, a bit of corrugated iron here and there. You know, it's just almost all made of wood. What strikes me most about Makoko is the number of children here. With a birth rate averaging five children for every woman, Nigeria's population is rapidly rising. By 2050, it's estimated there'll be over 400 million people here. A population behind only that of China and India. All human life is here. At high volume, as you can hear. You know, they, they like to make the presence known. Eventually, my boat arrives at the only two-storey building I've seen in Makoko. And it's a school. Taiwo. Oh, hello. Michael, yeah. Ah, Michael, what? Yes. This is your school. Yeah, this is my school. The part of the Solution Primary School has almost 400 pupils, all crammed into small classrooms. It's run by Taiwo Shimedi, who's a son of one of Makoko's village leaders. I mean, I see a lot of, a lot of children around. The population in Nigeria is increasing very fast indeed. Like the death rates, uh, it's high. We have more than 200,000 people here. More than 200,000? Yeah, yeah. Water. How big is your family? You have brothers and sisters? My dad is a chief. He had two wives. Yeah, right. The first wife gave birth to uh, 18. 18. 18. So my, oh. my mom gave birth to 17. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, so we're a big family. Over 30, yeah. Yeah, over 30. M must make Christmas a little bit expensive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you get any help at all from, from the government or the state of Lagos? No, I don't get any help from the government, even from the states. What's their attitude to well, it? The reason is that during 2012, the government gave us 72 hour notice to evacuate all the hours on water. The local government has been trying to dismantle Makoko for years and would like to see high rise apartment blocks built on the waterfront. But when they tried to forcibly evict residents in 2012, the community resisted and has stayed here ever since. <laughs>